Hello listeners welcome to the first episode of Aspire on Air a podcast series where we discuss careers in technology in today's session we will try to understand more about robotic process automation or as people call it RPA let's find out how RPA helps automate businesses and IT processes at scale with ease and speed and its application to the banking and financial sector We will talk about some career opportunities that you should look for in this technology. We are also going to discuss some key skill set that you can develop to become a part of Aspire Systems Data Analytics and RPA team. Let's welcome Krishnan Jairaman, the Vice President and Business Head of Data Analytics and RPA at Aspire Systems to discuss further about this topic. Welcome Krishnan. Hi. Hi everyone. what is rpa and how is it relevant for the banking and financial sector rpa is no longer a nice to have kind of a technology um rather it has become a need to navigate um unpredictable uh, and disruptive uh, times a robotic process automation so called rpa is the process of automating across applications and systems to execute repetitive operations that were previously handled by humans and the combining robotic process automation and artificial intelligence is called as smart automation or intelligent automation or hyper intelligence and the topic today is on the banking and financial services um it is observed to be increasing tremendously over the last few years with the application of technology developments resulting in quicker more secure and dependable services so banks to remain competitive in an increasingly saturated industry especially with more widespread of virtual banking banking organizations have to have find method to give the greatest possible user experience to their customers because for customers there are plenty of choices that are available and there are um uh, plenty of banking institutions that are there offering various different types of services if you look at the financial services industry rpa focuses on regular administration tasks like transferring data from email to a system and at the presentation layer financial services rpa performs duties such as scraping data which is related to various ec course to take a considerable portion of the day right somebody is spending huge number of efforts to do that manual activity now what rpa does is it simplifies this whole process brings in process and procedures and which is now widely adopted by several banks and financial institutions including insurance well that sounds really cool Uh, so let's talk about some of the labor intensive procedures that can be perfectly altered with rpa a very interesting point right there are several procedures that can be automated in the bfss sector take an example um customer service complaints accounts payable credit card processing mortgage processing fraud detection know your customers general ledger report automation account closure process account origination accounts receivable deposits and many more right it all again to the institution to define which are becoming very critical for them and where they are actually spending more to do a very monotonous activity right for i'll, I'll take few of those examples that i gave let's take accounts payable in a financial system accounts payable is a very basic but a very tedious operation this challenge can be solved with a robotic process automation and an optical character recognition which we call it as ocr technology one another critical aspect which is very very important is customer onboarding right customer onboarding is a time consuming procedure that necessitates the manual and verification of several process now um there are a lot of papers that they will have to go through validate the picture against uh, you know the documentation evidence that they have submitted and uh, if you implement rpa 
this entire process can be automated right so almost all the tools that are widely available in the market provide this facility to ease some of these you know uh, very critical and mundane tasks of an organization so krishnan you say that there is a lot of benefit when we adapt uh, robotic process automation so how do actually banks uh, benefit from rpa can you share some you know day to day examples that can uh, explain this in detail thank you for asking that i mean uh, uh, in my opinion um, there are several factors you know through which banks can actually take advantage of rpa um, the first primary would be the scalability right and two would be enhanced operational effectiveness three economic efficiency right because you you can you can make those staff who are probably doing such an activities on a daily basis which doesn't add value to them you can actually make them do some other critical tasks you can actually um, probably upscale them give them an, so another set of training can make them you know do some other task and accessibility right it can be accessible from cloud from on prem from another mobile app and it can be a desktop application it can be a server application it can run from anywhere and the one another biggest thing that i have observed is a more rapid implementation if you take a one use case like say customer onboarding you can do it in 3 to 4 months of time from which is very short when compared to even you know any other uh, you know it projects right and uh, the um, post production and then providing support which can be you know governed by a process which which the you know the strategic partners like aspire can provide to customers and the last but not the least is um, expansion of a business based on historical data you know it was absolutely insightful and quite exciting which brings us to the next segment of the session what are the career opportunities available in this field that one should look for oh yeah i i think you know a beat uh, business enterprise or beat uh, uh, partners like aspire systems um the the key to uh, successfully implement any such um robotic process implementation is the knowledge right it's a knowledge about the domain the knowledge about the tool the um, the knowledge about um, you know the business processes and even if uh, the knowledge about the business processes can also be brought in by the uh, banks or the financial institution because they are the smes right so we can quickly adapt to that but what is critical is the talented technical we call it as the techies right who are very very important and um, to successfully understand um, grasp good knowledge about that particular process and they should be able to execute those you know procedures and there are various roles um, which uh, which are you know part of this entire rpa journey uh, even be it aspire systems or be it on the client uh, customer side um you can you can see you know there are uh, you know rpa developers for example rpa engineers or rpa technical leads or um, you know senior solutions developer a consultant right a consultant typically plays a role of um, doing a consulting to the customer to find out what process needs to be automated so there could be uh, tons of process that can be in an enterprise but not necessary that all can need to be or can be automated so some of them need to be or uh, should be done only in a manual way because of various reasons right so the consulting helps to define or collect the requirements and then leave it to the technical team to deliver administrator in some cases uh, if you are doing an on prem implementations um, an administrator is good to have um, because he can manage for a large enterprises where there are hundreds and hundreds of bots are you know running which are unmanned bots a business analyst who is also working closely with the business smes to provide and collect the requirements process architect who is basically an architect who plays a very vital role in defining 
the the execution methodology the the uh, you know the automation methodology uh, defining the right tools and making it you know uh, with a shorter time of frame etc and the last but not the least is the rpa project manager rpa project manager is like your typical it project manager who can execute and work in both waterfall model or in an agile model you can have a project manager who is capable of understanding the process and at the same time bridge a gap between the business and the uh, it which is an extended arm like you know as per systems well this sounds like there is a lot of career opportunities out there which also means that uh, people has to have you know a specific skill set to attain these kind of jobs uh, especially talking from aspire systems point of view uh, what are the key skill sets that a potential candidate should develop to fulfill these job opportunities yeah i i think uh, um while i i speak from from aspire systems perspective but yeah. globally that's the uh, phenomenon or uh, the trend right and there are very specific skill sets that when aspire systems is hiring certain key candidates on rpa from the market um, some observations that what we have uh, or probably what aspire systems looks for is knowledge of automation tools um, especially be it automation anywhere uh, blue prism ui path uh, cofax there is also this microsoft power automate and there are many more blue you know um, there are uh, tools like sap irpa uh, even pega has got an rpa so what is the level of knowledge the candidate is bringing to the table um, um, so if you have master in one or two tools picking up another tool is very easy because you, if you have understood the process knowledge of rpa Uh, executing it in a tool becomes much faster process so it is more of a tool driven approach rather than a knowledge driven approach and uh, second thing is problem solving skills right so you will definitely end up with lot of uh, technical glitches problems because you are trying to implement something which was done by a human and then you are trying to make this task completely automated so that task for example took one hour your your process should not take you know, for an example should not take more than 5 10 minutes because it's executing very fast on its own unless there are some responses which needs to come which and then you know a decision is made then probably it takes a longer time to execute but generally rpa is always you know looked at as a time saving and you know very shorter time of you know duration in in most of these cases there will be a lot of technical plus business plus a functional related issues and challenges that will come so one should be able to uh, identify and efficiently handle that problem and resolve that problem working with the architect and the project managers or the business analyst or the business owners or the technical team from the customer side as well now third one i see is uh, smart process automation we call it as spa is also expected to be like a logical extension of rpa um, according to experts rpa and ai skills will be more in demand uh, as business transition from the pilot and a proof of stage uh, and they are eventually most customers are in uh, some of them are in the poc stage some of them are in the pilot stage pilot is like more like you are developing a, you know minimum viable product in mvp right and um, last is attention the 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 candidate should have attention to the details which is very very vital because they are going to work very closely with business people who are going to kind of you know give away some of the tasks that you know they are doing right and you are all all of a sudden you are coming into the picture you are saying that i will do this uh, you know uh, process automatically um, using rpa so there is going to be a it will be very close to their heart so you will have to work very patiently try to get the details as much as possible and not you know kind of um, put them in a fix right to not to share the information so you have to be playing it with a very you know careful approach here Thank you Krishnan for the comprehensive insights you have shared with our audience. We are sure that this information will provide them the right perspective especially to the aspiring candidates who are looking for suitable directions to streamline their career in uh, data analytics and RPA. We really appreciate your time and efforts for uh, this initiative. Thank you so much.
Thank you so much. Thank you so much.